You ever feel like your browser's just not doing it for you? Like it's either way too cluttered or tracking way too much? Yeah, we've been there. That's why today we're getting into Chrome and Zen, two browsers with totally different vibes. One's fast and familiar, the other's clean and all about privacy. So, if you're tired of feeling stuck in tabs or worried about what's being tracked, this is for you. We'll walk you through the interface, features, performance, and what makes each one stand out. So, keep on watching. When you open Chrome, you're hit with something very familiar. There's the address bar at the top, your bookmarks below it, and everything just feels expected. That's not a bad thing. A lot of people love Chrome because it doesn't throw surprises at you. It's like stepping into a car you've driven a hundred times. You know where everything is. You've got your tabs, your extensions, and right away it connects to your Google account if you're signed in. Boom! Your bookmarks, your history, even your passwords, they all show up. It's smooth. And if you're someone who uses other Google services like Gmail or Docs, that's a huge plus. Now switching to Zen, the first thing you'll notice is how clean and minimal it looks. It's quiet. There aren't a ton of buttons or pop-ups begging for attention. Instead of putting everything on top, Zen pushes tabs over to the side. Yeah, literally a sidebar that holds all your open pages. That alone changes how you move through stuff. You're not clicking left to right across a crowded tab bar. You scroll down the side, and it's easier on the eyes, especially if you're juggling a bunch of research or projects. Zen also lets you tweak things, like turning off certain buttons or changing how big your text looks. It gives you that space to make it your own. But where it really gets interesting is how those interfaces adapt to your workflow. Chrome keeps things fast and familiar. Zen gives you tools to create focus. They don't try to do the same thing, which is kind of the point. So once you've settled in visually, what's under the hood? Let's move into the features and benefits. So let's talk speed because that's a big one. Chrome runs on Google's Blink rendering engine, and they also use the V8 JavaScript engine. All you really need to know here is that it's built to load pages fast and keep them smooth, even when you've got like 20 tabs open. Chrome also splits up the processing. Each tab runs in its own space, so if one crashes, the whole browser doesn't freeze. That's something we've seen actually save our workflow during heavy multitasking. And lately, Chrome's been trying to help laptops last longer by adding energy saver and memory saver modes. They pause background stuff when you're not using it. Kind of like how your phone pauses background apps. Zen handles speed differently. It's based on Mozilla's Gecko engine, and it's a lot lighter. So even on older laptops, Zen doesn't feel slow. We tried opening 15 tabs on a mid-range machine, and Zen handled it without a problem. But it also does something clever. It strips out trackers and ads by default. That means you're not just waiting for websites to load, you're skipping all that behind-the-scenes clutter that Chrome often still loads unless you've got blockers. So yes, Chrome feels fast, but Zen feels lighter. Depending on your system and the sites you visit, you might notice a real performance gain just from how Zen blocks stuff right out of the gate. Now let's talk tabs, because let's be real, we all open way more than we should. Chrome helps with that by letting you group tabs, color them, and even name those groups. You can also pin tabs you use all the time, like email or music. It's good if you're someone who likes everything sorted. And if you lose a tab? There's a search feature that lets you find it without clicking through everything. Zen does it differently. Instead of grouping tabs horizontally, Zen gives you something called workspaces. These are like little rooms where you can stash different sets of tabs. So maybe you're planning a trip in one workspace, working on a project in another, and browsing memes in a third. You can jump between them without losing where you left off. And it doesn't stop there. Zen has a feature called Zen Glance 
that lets you preview links before even opening them. Just hover and see what it's about. Plus, the split view lets you see two tabs at once, side by side. If you're writing and researching at the same time, that saves a ton of clicking, so both browsers help with tab overload. But Zen gives more creative ways to work with them. Chrome keeps it traditional but reliable. When it comes to making the browser yours, Chrome is all about themes. You can find thousands on the Chrome Web Store, from minimal styles to crazy colorful stuff. And of course, the extension function is strong. There's something for everything. Shopping, grammar checkers, VPNs, whatever. It's one of the biggest reasons people stick with Chrome. Zen is more about structure. You can change how the browser behaves. Want fewer buttons? Done. Need compact mode to keep things focused? It's there. The sidebar can be adjusted, the text size and tabs can be tweaked, and you've got Zen modes that let you hide stuff you don't use. Plus, since Zen is based on Firefox, it supports all of Firefox's add-ons. That gives you a huge library to work with. So while Chrome has a flashier extension store, Zen gives you the flexibility to really mold how things look and feel. Now this one's important. Chrome is strong on security. It updates automatically every few weeks, which means you always have the latest patches. Safe browsing warns you if a site seems shady or tries to trick you. You also get Google's built-in password manager, which works across all your devices. If your saved passwords ever get exposed in a breach, it actually tells you. But here's the catch. Chrome is built by Google, and we all know that means data. Even though there are privacy settings and a privacy guide that walks you through them, there's still a level of tracking that never really goes away. It's just part of the deal with using a Google product. Zen was built for the opposite reason. Privacy is its main goal. It blocks ads and trackers without you needing to install anything. There's no data collection by default, and because it's open source, anyone can look at the code and see what's happening. That builds trust. If a security issue comes up, it gets fixed fast by the community. So Chrome gives you polished, big league security tools. Zen gives you privacy you don't have to set up or worry about. It's just there from the start. Let's talk about Sync. If you live in the Google world, like Gmail, Docs, Google Photos, Chrome just makes everything easier. You sign in once and boom, your bookmarks, your passwords, your tabs, all your stuff shows up on your other devices. It all works without much effort. Zen syncs too, but through Firefox's infrastructure. So if you've used Firefox before, it'll feel familiar. You can sync bookmarks, passwords, history, and settings across devices. It works well, but it's not built into a big ecosystem like Google's. That's both a good thing and a limitation. You don't get the same tight Google integrations, but you also don't have to give up as much personal data for convenience. Everything considered, both Chrome and Zen offer great browsing experiences, but they serve different needs. Chrome is ideal if you want fast performance, easy sync with Google, and a massive extension library. It's simple, familiar, and dependable. Zen is better if you value privacy, want control over your interface, and prefer a clean, distraction-free space. It's lightweight, open source, and highly customizable. We use both, and each has its strengths. So the better browser really depends on your personal habits and what matters more to you, convenience or control. Try both and see which one fits your style better. That's how you'll know.